idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Welcome to this very quick and very important video for you if you own the Vectric software. Whether you have Vectric Cut 2D Desktop, Cut 2D Pro, VCarve Desktop, VCarve Pro, or Aspire, you need to know this. What we're going to talk about is making sure that your Vectric software is current and up to date with the patches and fixes that they have created since you got your software. Now, what are patches and fixes? All software, when it's written, typically has little bugs and things in it where just something isn't working the way it's supposed to. And once the software company discovers that, they write patches and fixes into the software, and then it has to be imported into your software, in this case, the vector software, to get those things fixed. Most softwares, at least the major software providers out there have something they call an auto updater where it will already take care of itself without you having to worry about it. However, in the case of Vectric, that's not the case. They do not have an auto updater. From what I understand, they have tried and they had problems with it. So it's really up to you and me to make sure that our Vectric software, Cut 2D, VCarve, and Aspire are current with all the patches and fixes. So this video is going to walk you through the very easy process of making sure that your Vectric software is current with all those fixes. Otherwise, if you don't do this, you may run into a problem that's already been taken care of. Unfortunately, this is not like common information for Vectric users. So that's why I've made this video for you. So we're gonna go into the Vectric software and I'm gonna show you the really easy way to get this fixed. And as soon as you're done with the video, make sure you go to your software and do this and you will be in good shape. Let's get into the software. We're now in the Vectric software and what I'm showing you will work in Cut 2D, VCarve, Aspire, and anything else that Vectric has. So you wanna come up to the upper part of the screen where it says file, edit, model, etc., and you want to come over to the help button. When you select help, a menu will show up. Come down to the bottom of the menu and you'll see an area that says check for updates. Select that and your computer will come up with do you want to allow this app to make changes in your computer? So you click yes. The pop-up that says, do you want to make the changes to this computer is not showing in this video because it is in background. It is part of the Windows thing. It will come up on your computer. Then the updater will show up and at the top, it will show click next to check for an update. And it has a little welcome message. Click next. And then it's going to give you some information. The update application has been updated and must restart in order to continue. So what that means is it needs to shut down Vectric. Then you will get click next to update VCarve Pro 11.0 or whatever version you have. Click the next button and it'll start to download any updates that are required. You may or may not get this warning where it says the program below must be closed in order for the patch to continue. Close the program and click retry. And then it lists down below the program that needs to be closed. In this case, it's VCarve Pro. So what I'm going to do is now close the program that I have open. And I am going to say yes to save the project. And we'll just call it what it is. So you need to save your project. Now I have closed everything, so now I'm going to click the button retry. Select that, ready to patch will come up. Then it'll say, please click start to proceed with the patch. So we will click the start button. It'll start to update. When it's done, it'll say patch is successful. Select the finish button and you are ready to go. Your vector carve. Your Vectric software is now fixed. Then it will probably reopen the last file that you had open. Then you will get notification that you successfully updated to the appropriate fixes. You have opportunity to see the release notes, 
or not since none of us read them just click later so i'm going to click later and we are ready to rock and roll please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and insightful and you learned something you didn't know and you might want to subscribe to the uh, channel as well because i teach you about all the vectric software as much as i can idcwoodcraft.com